Hello everyone, Pentuf here, and as you may or may not know, you made me buy back pretty much all the tanks in the game, and I had the pleasure of playing back some tier 4, tier 3, tier 5s that I never thought would be OP, and that just revealed themselves to be completely broken. That's why today we're gonna see a top 5 list of best silk clubbing tanks, in case you just wanna go lower tiers and just wrecked everything around. So, here we go guys. The first I want to talk about is the B2, the German tier 4 premium tank. Why do I want to talk about this one? Because it has a preferential matchmaking, that's what makes it completely broken in order to seal club, because you will be top tier only and always. So uh, the may maybe the main thing about this tank is probably the gun and the armor, all you need to pretty much destroy everything at tier 4, because if nobody can penetrate you and you also have one of the best DPMs, you are clearly a tank suitable for uh, for any kind of seal clubbing. Also, you don't really need to angle your tank, just make sure to may maybe angle it a little bit at the front and it should do the trick. No problem to destroy everything on the battlefield. The second one on the list, the Leopard, the tier 5 German light tank. Why? Two main reasons. The first one is the gun. You have one of the funniest gun I have ever played with at tier 5 because you're, you are able to deal 300 damage if you penetrate all your shells. It's an auto loader, but it feels more like a machine gun than everything else. Look at this, 300 on the Leopard we just shot. And you also have the mobility that will allow you to mm, probably get away of... Uh, hard situations or even try to circle your enemies now definitely the leopard is a great tank for experienced player to seal club with with this one you can reach incredible amount of damage in uh, not a lot of times also i definitely recommend to you to enrich it because this tank is really making a lot of money when you play it correctly now let's talk about the Ram 2, the medium tier 5 American tank. So why is it on this list? Because probably for those of you who are not familiar with this tank, it doesn't have armor, it has a nice mobility and what makes it completely broken in my opinion is the incredible DPM you have with it. 3 seconds of reload for around 85 uh, alpha damage. It's just one of the best DPMs at tier 5, so if you manage to just avoid being shot at and if you if you, if you you just manage to keep going with your team but they are the one being focused and you're only in the back on support, you're gonna do incredible damage. Because with this one, clearly you have the same burst as some tier 7, even tier 8s. So clearly a tank you wanna have in your garage when it's gonna be available in the shop again. Of course, I couldn't do a top 5 uh, seal clubbing tank without talking about the KV-220T. Why? Because you probably know that this tank has a tier 7 L armor. Why? Because it's basically just a KV-1 turret mounted on a KV-3 hull. So just imagine how many millimeters of armor you have on a tier 7 when you're facing tier 5s. Which makes it completely broken because a lot of people are gonna bounce you, except maybe they use gold, but let's face it, at tier 5 you are not gonna encounter that much gold shells. Also we can talk about the gun, which is quite nice in my opinion, there is nothing bad about it. Maybe the only, the only cons concerning the tank is the fact that the mobility clearly sucks, of course when you have this kind of armor you can't expect to go to 60 km per hour. And the winner of this top 5 is the T1 Heavy, the tier 5 Heavy American tank. Why? Because clearly since the buff it received an armor penetration, making it completely broken. Because tier 4s with APs and gold shells can go through your armor, as you can see on the Matilda right there. But also because even tier 5s can penetrate you at the front, which makes it... In maybe the best tank ever to seal club you don't need to angle your tank you just need to stay straight in front of your opponents just make sure they can circle you or shut your sights and you're good for a win so yeah clearly this is a must if you're a, if you're a seal clubbing fan i can't i can't advise you more than just take this tank and go around because it's not only about the armor, also the tank has a nice gun and a nice mobility. So if you combine OP armor, good gun and good mobility, of course you obtain one of the best silk clubbing tanks ever. Anyway, I hope this top 
pleased you. Of course, I didn't talk about the Kenyotsu because it's not available in, anymore. I know, of course, if the Kenyotsu was still available, it would have been top 1. But yeah, I, I, di I didn't want it to talk much about tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 here because I don't want to influence you into getting into this match and destroy all the newbies that are trying the game out because we need these players to uh, develop the game but I still hope you enjoyed and if it's the case feel free to subscribe like and share don't forget that you're not here to be better but to be the best Pentoof over